It's another device. Why not? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Oof. In today's video, we are unboxing the Molecule Air Pro. We gotta show a little bit more of that box right there. Check it out. Oh yeah. I got the Molecule Air Mini a while ago when I was living in another place and now we're doing the Air Pro which is like the top tier model. We're gonna test it out and unbox it. What I'm really excited to do is I actually bought one of these air quality meters. This is by 10 Top. Check it out here. And I'll be able to actually measure CO2, dust and all that, VOC with this to see is this making an impact? So we're gonna run a couple experiments and use an aware element as well to see how impactful this is. Oh, that is a clean unboxing right there. I promise we are on a mission. Put it in a big space, the Air Pro will work in any room, but giving it space away from walls helps maximize air circulation. Start here to set it up. All right, it's got a process. Push down on the counter. Rotate and lift Pico, so it uses a Pico filter, not HEPA. It's like the proprietary technology. It's widely distributed. People say it's a scam. Some people say it's really good. I don't really know. We're gonna test it for ourselves and find out in a non-scientific way. Okay, so this one also has an app, which is pretty cool. Check it out, some features to use there. We got our manual, and inside, da -da -da -da! we pull this sucker out. This is a very big little guide. All right. Here is the sucker. There it is. In its form, it comes in a bag. We shall keep the box. What is a fancy bag we got here? Bada bing, bada boom. This is like a like a legit carrying bag. It's got mo on the front for molecule. Like I wonder what else you could do with this. The real question is how do we get it out of the bag? It's like the air filter condom right now. There we go. It's got a handle. This thing is freaking huge, man. Damn. Damn. <laughs> oh, baby. Can't wait to see people's reactions to this. ASMR. Oh, clean and sexy. Now, what we have to do actually, counterclockwise to lift. This is the little filter thing that comes on the top. Inside. We have the Pico air filter. Obviously you want to remove the plastic before you use it. Photoelectrical oxidation. This is kind of how the air filter operates and works. This is what it looks like around and about it. And inside of this massive thing, it's rather empty. Literally that is all that goes inside is that Pico filter. And you can see it's all it really is. And you have these tiny vents on the bottom, the base with the cow power cable as well, which comes in a box. I love that, less plastic. Use low energy to keep fresh flowing. There we go. Toss that sucker in. Oh wow, it just like line, it like floats. Air filter floats. Take this, align the red line. So it falls into place. Push down, boom. Unwind the cord. How does that work? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's got a nice cable organizer on the bottom. Love that, it's well thought out. But now it is up and running. Let's plug the sucker in and see how it works. Somebody turn it on! Boom, it is on, it is powering on. Check this bad boy out. There it is, it says Mo. We are live, we are booting up. Okay, well that is frustrating. I tried password resetting and all this stuff, it didn't work, so I submitted a ticket to Molecule Online and unable to get into the app, so we can't show you that, but what I can show you is that it's on and that the light, as you can kind of tell here, there's kind of like a blue light that's going on right there. That's, I think, the UV light to stop bacteria. You have this screen here. You can kind of see the air quality right there. It's got the PM levels, one, 2.5, 1.0, moderate, protect is standard. Pico filter is good. It's got some device details and I guess Wi-Fi. See how does that work? This touchscreen is not bad. Down the app. Well, it's not working. So what am I supposed to do? Gives you the dust levels here. I actually got my little device here, handy dandy. So let's see what this guy's saying. This is also saying moderate, which is good. Now if we put it right outside where the fan is blowing, is that better? Let's see. Let's see if we go by the door. It should get a little worse. Not too much, but I'm hoping. So 
What time is it right now? Oh, there you go. The numbers went up. So the numbers went up, right? From this dust that we just did right over here. They're going up and up. Now I'm gonna leave this here to let it clean out. But it is currently 6.33 right now. And I'm gonna run this test. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna close the door and see what happens here. So you can see the numbers are going up, PM levels. It was all from that dust that we just did. But I'm gonna close this door here and see if the dust levels can change in this tiny room. It is rather small, so check this out. This is the size. We'll close everything. The windows are closed, doors closed, and we'll come back in like 20 minutes and see what happens. Hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes and counting. Okay, the numbers are already dropping from when I moved away from the window. That's good. Look, uh, the PM levels are getting to good, which is really good because this is the air that's coming right out of the filter. So while we wait, I'm gonna go test this other co-wave filter that we actually have in that room and see how it's performing. Put this on. Okay, so that was clearly not good. We'll take this, this in here. Okay, that is not good either. I don't know if it's when you're turning air filter on really high and you're leaving it right by the fans that this thing goes absolutely unhealthy. So I'm not sure if that's a normal thing. I'm gonna leave this in the room and have this run and we'll come back in our time limit and see if the air quality has dropped. I think it was like around 13. Let's, we'll see if it dropped. It definitely smells a little different. It's been about 15 minutes, but if we look at this sensor right here, oh my holy moly guacamole, it, the PM levels have dropped, the air quality is good. So that's a good sign that we know the dust, whatever dust thing it's doing, it's on level four right now, which is pretty high. It's relatively loud if you can hear the humming going. But we know that that actually uh, cleaned this room rather quickly in about 15 minutes. I think the numbers are still getting a little lower. So we know something good is happening. That's good, good news. Well, continue to test it. I'm gonna switch out the co-way and try that and let's see how that works. Oh wait, and if we look at that right there, it says good, so the air quality's gotten better. The PM, all the PM levels are now good, according to this sensor. We're gonna switch this actually back to standard and it's gonna get a little quieter. But now this room is relatively clean, so we need to make the air lower quality. So I'm gonna open this window, we'll turn on the fan, get some dust moving, and test it with the second one. We have the polluted air outside, which is stunning and great for this experiment. We are now around 20 ppm for 10 and 2.5 in particle maturate, and we're measuring this, obviously with this, it's moderate right now. We left the windows open, and that's a great sign, so now we will close. The air filter was actually slightly on. So I'll put it on its highest setting now. Boom, boom, we can hear it. This is the Koei Air Mega, like the cheap one without the app. Got it off Amazon, now we will leave this again. Same approximate spot. I'll close the door and we'll see how this goes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes and counting. I'm getting ANC, I need to check. This is built for a 1500 square foot, I think. And I really want to know what are the stats. Oh my God. I went in 10 minutes early and look at the parts per million. It's under one right now. And it has a, a status symbol right there. It's blue, which means it's clean. So that just shows you the tremendous difference already that I've noticed. Parts per million in, thi in this. Look at that. That's insane. It's less than one. In this Koei Air Mega compared to the uh, other device. But the other the biggest thing about molecule, what they talk about is volatile organic compounds. And that's the reason I bought it. So I want to measure the actual changes in VOC. So the AWARE actually has a sensing device for chemicals. If you can see that on the bottom, far bottom, I'll go into the actual chemicals tab. And you can see this is the chemicals graph for the day. That's volatile organic compounds that AWARE is measuring. And what I want to do is test with AWARE if the volatile organic compounds will actually decrease more than with the Koei. I think this one also meshes it too. It's in the particles tab. I'm going to just double check and do a little more research on that. But we'll test that out. So if you look at the AWARE right over there, you see that long standing one? That is VOC, Volatile Organic Chemicals. And this, that is exactly what this molecule is known for. So we're plugging that sucker in. I'm gonna run it and let's see. I'm gonna close the doors, everything. And right now you can kind of see right there, Volatile Organic Compounds have been relatively high this evening. So what we'll do is put this right here. 
we'll turn it on about a five or a six and see how well it does in about 20 minutes. So will it drop to really low levels? Maybe five, just to be fancy. And we're putting it right by the aware. It's turning, it's getting loud. I'll close actually all these doors. And we can actually watch this remotely because the sensor's right there. So oh, we want to turn off the co-way. So that air filter is now off over there. And we will watch and see what happens now. All right, it's dropped from 1100 to 900. So it's dropping, but I don't know if it's that dramatic of a change. It's been like 30 minutes now running at full blast. It's still not in the green, so we'll have to continue testing. Maybe it'll work till tomorrow morning, so I'll keep running it. It's going and it's loud. We're gonna turn it on. The windows are all closed, but I'm gonna open the windows and let fresh air in. We'll let this run through the night. As you can tell, it was sitting right there next to the aware. No significant change. Oh, maybe we're in the green now. Let's see. dropped below. So we've dropped to about 800-ish from the 11, almost 1200 we were at, but that's nothing near the uh, lower numbers we are at earlier in the day. It's been 40 minutes, like this is it, this is the, the room, that's it. I think opening the window, if that can help clear it out faster, it doesn't really make sense to have something like this. This is also non-scientific, that is a consumer measuring device, so just keep that in mind. Reach out to you the moment I have more details. Okay. Have a wonderful rest of your day. You too, bye bye. All right, just got off the phone with Molecule Inc. And they just asked me to reset the password for the fourth time. Still can't get in the app. I'll show you my app and my password. It's self-generated. But uh, here it is. Like, you can see it right there. And when I tap sign in, enter valid password. Watch. I'm gonna, I pasted it from my iMac, right? You can see the pasting. Sign in. Boom. It throws this error that my password's incorrect. And I literally just did the password reset on the website. And I copied the password that I put in. And it works on the website, which is really weird. I was able to log in on the website. So I just don't know what's going on. I feel like it's a bigger tech issue. Who knows? Not a good first time experience. Also, not a great way in terms of how they handled it. I, they emailed me, I sent a video of them it not working, and they just called me and did another password reset. This is the fourth one. Come on, Molecule. Please make sure to subscribe. My name is Sherman Shares. Thanks again for watching. This was the Molecule Air Pro unboxing and a quick competition test against the Callaway Air Mega. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. Peace!